Hey everyone, I am going to take you through the first time that I've ever made a non-dairy milk. Normally I've been drinking it for like ages, but I just haven't made it. So I'm gonna start by doing oat milk because from the research I've done, oat milk is best done without being soaked. So it's not slimy. <laughs> so I got my blender, secondhand blender, really basic, really easy. In here I have a cup of rolled oats, organic rolled oats. Um, if you are gluten free and you're concerned about using rolled oats, don't be because rolled oats actually have avenine in them, not gluten. It's more the fact that they can be processed in the same plant. So if you can get your hands on certified gluten free oats, then you will be fine. So putting the oats in the blender and because oats uh, get strained you can use apparently you can use dates honey or maple syrup as your sweetener but because the oats are going to be strained I'm going to do it with maple syrup uh, so we take maple syrup and you do a tablespoon of maple syrup Put that to the side. If you prefer your oat milks and milk sweeter, you can do more, but oats are usually pretty sweet. Anyway, you then also put in a quarter teaspoon of salt. I've just got pink Himalayan salt in my little tin. And then we do three cups of filtered water. My cold water is filtered, so I'm gonna like jump in and out and fill that up. So I'm putting in my fourth cup of water. So when you do oat milk, it is one cup of rolled oats to four cups of water. Now I'm gonna put the lid on and whiz. Find the best thing to do is have a look at it and see if it's whizzed up. I reckon I can go a little bit longer. So you can see it makes quite a bit of oat milk. For anyone who hasn't had, hasn't had oat milk, I found oat milk when I first transitioned from dairy into nut-free milks because I find it's actually one of the best imitators of normal milk, especially flavor-wise. So this is where the nut milk bag comes into it. I got this one from Ever Eco. You can see here. Mostly because I like the fact that the packaging was completely plastic free, but from what I've researched, these guys are really, really good. And I'll probably tear up the bag and use it for composting. So this is a nut milk bag. And you literally pour, so I suggest getting a big bowl. You basically fit out the bottom and then pour the contents of your milk into the bag. Remember, this is the first time I've done this, so I wanted to share that with you so you guys understood just how easy it is. Okay, see how I've got a little bit in there? I'm gonna get it out with some more water. And I'm back. So. I really feel like it doesn't matter too much how much water you put in. It really comes down to your personal preference. But I think if you start with oat milk and you start with the four cups, I'm sure you can decide if you want more or less. So you can use the drawstring to keep it all in there. Basically what you're doing is that is all the oat pulp. You're gonna squeeze all the water out. You can do this as well apparently with a cheesecloth over like a bowl, but I feel like this is probably gonna be a lot neater. And as long as you plan on holding on to this for the rest of your life and taking care of it and cleaning it, then there's no reason why you can't buy, buy it new. I think it's great if you wanna be waste free and you wanna use cheesecloth, that's fine. But I also think if your intentions are to minimize your waste by the fact that you're not buying your nut milk or your milks in bottles, then it's fine. All right, so you can see I've gotten as much as the juice out as I can. 
Um, you can actually use that for a cookie recipe. So I'm going to do some research and find out a cookie recipe that uses this because you know me, I love using leftover shit. Uh, pop that out of the way. So I now have my milk in there and because I'm super clumsy, I'm going to get a jug. I'm going to pour it in and I'll use that to pour it into the glass bottle. Now I got these glass bottles from, uh, this was an aloe vera glass bottle actually. And again, if you want to, especially in Australia now that we're not recycling glass in a lot of places, if you buy a big glass bottle with the intent to use it for your milk bottle, I think that's totally fine. So I have this one. And oh, before I pour it in, what I did was I washed the inside and then washed the outside, took the label off, and then I stuck it in an oven at 100 degrees and that dries it right out and basically kills all the bacteria. So 100 to 150 degrees for about 15 minutes. I am that excited about this. <laughs> and then we take the second lot. So you can see it makes quite a lot. And most nut milks last for four to five days in the fridge. Oh my God, there is so much here. So there you have it. Oat milk made for the very first time and as easy as. And actually tastes really good.